My name is Brady Noon, and I play Raphael in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, New Mayhem. I would describe Raphael as as kind of the the big brother, as uh, for the group at least. Uh, he's very he's very loyal to his brothers, and and he's aggressive always. But but he's got a good heart, and he he truly wants to protect all of his brothers. Growing up, I was I was a fan of TMNT. Uh, I watched the 2012 series from Nickelodeon uh, my whole my whole uh, childhood, pretty much. So <laughs> uh, a lot of that was a was a big factor into how I took my approach towards Raphael. So that that was a big help, and and I mean just being being a part of such a franchise that that I've loved since I was so young is just such a dream come true. The way that this uh, this was different from other voiceovers that I've done before was. The fact that it was an ensemble, we were all in the studio together. Um, prior to this, I was just in the studio by myself, just reading off a script, and which is fine. But this is just a totally different atmosphere and something that I've never, like something like I've never done before. So it was just really special and really interesting to see. The movie is actually hilarious, and and it's and it's partially because of of the improv. I mean, there's there's times where we go into the studio and Seth will. We'll, we'll get all set up for all of us, and uh, he'll be like, okay, guys, uh, we need you to argue about a topic rated, related to TikTok, and go. And we just go. And they put that in the movie. It was very exciting to, to work with Jeff, and he played such a big factor into why this movie is to what it is. I mean, he, he, he was there for every single session. He, he was so hands-on, just amazing to work for and work with. I, I mean, I, I couldn't ask for... A better director, honestly. If I had to sum up the movie in a couple words, I would say um, it's a group of teenage mutant ninja turtles fighting crime, um, trying to stop the bad guys, and in all this you find love, happiness, laughter, and it's just filled with a little bit of everything, so you're just going to have to watch it to find out. The turtles really want to experience that that human life or that, that normal life, and they feel so so unique and and like almost like an outcast and they just they just really want to fit in but it's hard to them because they're turtles and they fight crime <laughs> um but i mean they want to go to high school and uh, there's a lot of things that get in the way i mean you have superfly that gets in the way and they have to take care of them and all the mutants it was super sick working with ice cube he he came into the studio with us before so we we had we are we are, we do know each other. <laughs> We're friends. No, no, no. No, but um, it, was, it was so incredible. It was surreal. Um, it was so sick to, to get to work with him, uh, like, hand in hand on a project that we were both so passionate about. Um, I mean, Superfly is, is a brand new villain, so you will get to see him and his whole backstory and breakdown. But kind of his main goal is to kind of, instead of the humans ruling the world, he kind of wants to flip it and kind of... Um, reverse the pain that he has felt from the humans on the humans. So he wants to make everyone mutants so they can all experience the same pain. It turns out that um, April's actually accepting of them and, and their differences, which is extremely important and kind of gives the turtles hope that there's others like her that will accept them. So I think that's, that's very important. We got Post Malone, we have Paul Rudd, John Cena, um, so many others that, that just really fill out that mutant team of superstars now. So, I mean, just to have, to have all these amazing actors and, and unique personalities come on and just all have a common goal of making an awesome team and team movie is just so sick and, and, and amazing. I would describe this film as, as lighthearted, exciting, um, thrilling, hilarious, and it's got everything, so grab your popcorn and enjoy. A specific thing that I can think of is just any sort of the fight sequences. I mean, it's so hard to match that animation, like the littlest bit of animation with, with the effort. So you really just have to, you really just have to put, like, like, I will be fully acting it out in the booth as if I'm on camera. Like, just to get that, that authenticity of me running through woods. Now jump. So now I have to jump. So I'll be like... <gasps> Oh, 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 and then start running again. So, I mean, I'm, I'm also not used to VO. I haven't done, like, a lot of voiceover work. I mean, I've mainly done live action. So this was, this was definitely a challenge for me. It definitely took me out of my uh, comfort zone. But I feel like I, I eventually thrived, and, and I, I love it. Like, I, I genuinely love voiceover. 
I feel like, especially with this this new art style and this new this new look for these turtles, everyone knows who the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are. So I mean, just to see them in a, in a different light and and with such a humongous cast and in such a big light will will be incredible. And I think a lot of people will be able to relate to the movie with with diversity and and acceptance and 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 just differences.